Hey you guys, get into this creamy Cajun pasta with blackened salmon. It is one of our absolute favorite ways to eat Alfredo pasta. It's quick and easy and it makes the perfect weeknight meal. So you wanna grab your salmon. I have two 12 ounce fillets here that I got from my local seafood department. And I'm feeding a family of six, so I'm gonna take these fillets and cut them right down the middle to create two six ounce fillets. And even though we ended up with about four fillets here, it truly fed a family of six because each person gets about half a fillet. They can have a whole one if they like, but it's plenty to feed the entire family. Go ahead and clean your salmon. You're gonna pat it completely dry and you're going to add your seasonings directly on top of the salmon. All of the recipe details are in the caption below and at razzledazzlelife.com. Go ahead and heat your oil up in a cast iron skillet. It is best to use a cast iron skillet when you're trying to get a nice sear on your salmon. Once your oil is nice and hot, add your salmon fillet skin side down. That's super important because it's super easy to get that skin off of the salmon after it's done searing. Once the salmon is seared for about five minutes, you're gonna go ahead and flip it over and then peel that skin off. This is how easy it is to peel off. Cook it for another five minutes or so on the other side, depending on how well done you like your salmon. Go ahead and remove the salmon, set it to the side, and now is a good time to get that pasta going. So bring your water to a rolling boil and then add your pasta directly into the pot. We use penne pasta for this recipe, but you can definitely substitute it with fettuccine or linguine noodles. Go ahead and boil your noodles for about 15 minutes. You want them to be al dente, not too mushy, so you want them to have a little bit of bite to them still. Once they're cooked up, you can drain that water and set those to the side and we are going to get started on our homemade alfredo sauce so we have the same seasonings here that we put on our fish we have bell peppers and onions we have heavy cream parmesan cheese and some minced garlic so you want to start by mincing up some garlic i'm going to give it a nice smash here so that i can get those skins off Fresh garlic is best for this recipe, but if you're in a pinch, you can use garlic powder or pre-minced garlic that comes in a jar. It's important to get a really fine mince on this garlic so that it can marry into the sauce very, very well. Now to make the sauce, you're gonna go ahead and add your butter to a hot skillet, and then you're going to add your bell peppers and onions. Remember, this is a Cajun pasta, so we want to add our bell peppers and onions. Saute them for about a minute or two, and then you're going to add that minced garlic. Let it saute with the bell peppers and onions for about one minute. You don't want it to burn, so make sure you stir it constantly. Now you're going to pour your heavy cream directly into the skillet and stir it around. Let it marry together with everything real nice. Then you're going to add that shredded Parmesan cheese. You're gonna stir this all together and let it cook down until the cheese is nice and melty. Your sauce is also going to start to thicken up like so. And once all of that cheese is melted, go ahead and sprinkle in those seasonings and you're gonna give it a nice mix and let it simmer for about a minute or two. It should look like this and coat the back of your spoon. And now you're going to add your pasta directly into the skillet with the sauce and give it all a nice mix so everything is fully coated and combined. This is the consistency that we like our sauce. We like it to be a little bit on the thinner side because we're adding the pasta and it's going to thicken up as the pasta cooks in the sauce. If you want your sauce to be thicker, you can add more cheese and let it simmer a little bit longer because it will thicken up as it sits. Go ahead and plate up that delicious Cajun pasta. Then you're going to add your blackened salmon fillets directly on top. And we reserve some of that delicious homemade Alfredo sauce to pour over the top because everything is better with more sauce. We like it to be nice and wet. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and be sure to like, save, share, and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipe ideas. And of course I had to give this a taste test for you guys. It is so delicious. Give it a try and let me know down below what you guys think.